Hello everyone, it is Hyperwars and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. Today you guys are joining me as promised for another episode of the Boom Beach Base Review. This is episode number 27. And uh, it's really great to be back again. We're going to be taking a look at three of your bases. As always, if you want to be having a chance of getting your base featured, all you have to do, go to the comment section of this video, check out the template got set up there, fill in your information and you're automatically entered of having a chance of getting your base featured. That being said, let's take a look at the first base of tonight. Alright, so the first base of tonight is in the task force called Wonky Penguins. We're looking at Lieutenant Dan, uh, who wants himself a base review. He's actually a frequent watcher of uh, the series, because I always see him back in the comments, and I figured, let's give him some love today. Let's give him a base review. So, Lieutenant Dan, level 45, with 354 victory points. Let's take a look at your base. So, you said you maybe were going to be level uh, 46, but you weren't, but that's okay. Your headquarter is level 16, though, so, of course, you got yourself another landing craft which is obviously pretty cool um they're all really nicely leveled up though they're all very nicely leveled up level 14 i really do like that your gumboat is 15 over here you got your sculptor level 6 that means 8 statues your vault is level 15 your radar is level 15 as well your armory is even level 14 and your weapon lab is there it's kind of in progression right now look at this looks really cool the animation over here but everything is really nicely leveled up you're really high for your headquarters level i feel the average person uh, around level 45 would at least be headquarters level 17 by now and that is because you got everything uh, pretty nicely leveled up over here you see those rocket launches those boom cannons uh, all the cannons are blue over here you can definitely already progress onto headquarters level 17 it's as a matter of fact something i would advise you to do because well it's only gonna be in your benefit so you cannot lose anything on upgrading your headquarters but you might be one of these people that are like you know i want to first clean up everything and finish up everything before i advance and in that case i totally have respect for that and i totally understand that let's take a look at your masterpieces over here uh, 56 is decent, 20% is a little bit low, 31 is average, 26 is okay, and over here 28 is good, and uh, 38 is not bad, it's better than my own, so nice job there. The statues are about average, but they can still improve, uh, you know, you still got ways to go, so you will be getting better statues as time progresses. Now let's take a look at your base layout, I see a doom cannon in the middle. Never a bad choice because it's straight in the middle. Uh, you're actually doing pretty nice there. But um, you, are, you have the ability to shock a Doom Cannon alongside with a Boom Cannon. And then you will also be able to get the Rocket Launcher in there from that side. Or the Rocket Launcher from the other side. That might be causing you an issue when it comes down to people taking down your base. What I do like is all of the, all of the goodies. All of the other buildings that you got at the, at the back here. Uh, it is nicely covered up. You're not giving it away for free. So I'm gonna give you some props for that at 354 victory points There aren't a lot of people with uh, critters I I'm, I'm saying it in quotations because you never know people might be dropping down and if they do that is unfortunate But other than that, I must say the base layout I, I do kind of understand where you're coming from. I mean you do have machine guns at the front I don't know if I agree with that personally, but that's just you know my perspective because I feel in this um, metal range specifically uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of warrior attacks a lot of tanks and medics so tanks and medics you you're doing really well having that doom cannon over there but um, I I'm missing these boom cannons in the front like the, the, I feel boom cannons should be more in the front and the machine gun should be at the headquarters but this can work as well because you do have the doom cannon to kind of like cover up for that it kind of makes sense that you played it out this way but i'm kind of missing like this war anti-warrior defense there if you know where i'm coming from uh these sniper towers over here i feel they are a little bit like too much behind the headquarters so what i essentially would be doing in your position is i would actually swap them up with these machine guns so that way they are still covering the headquarters because that's what machine guns are for in my opinion and um you're gonna have some more side coverage and uh, left and right side and also a little bit more the front and the center and that will be playing out very nicely then over here the mines i have nothing to say about that it looks really good the way you got it set up i like the way you got this one done so no problems there whatsoever um minor points of concern honestly once again the shocks this little area over here you can get a lot of uh, pretty powerful 
building defenses uh, together. So that is uh, something you maybe want to be doing something against. Uh, the machine guns in the front, it might be working out well because you got some cannons in the back there and some rocket launches at the side, so I definitely see it working. It's kind of new, I don't see a lot of people doing it, that's what I meant to say. But uh, it's, it's interesting, let me know how your defense is working, uh, official Iceptica. That being said, let's move on to the second base of today. Alright, the next task course is called Bosna. And at the top it says Broccoli. I mean Dobro Dosli. It's not Broccoli, it's Dobro Dosli. I don't know what that means. Might be Broccoli in Bosnian or something, I don't have no idea. Tell me what it is. Uh, Mabu, Mabu. Let's watch your comment. We're taking a look at Mabu over here, level 52, with 839 victory points. You're doing well when it comes down offensively. I'm expecting a lot of offensive statues. Let's take a look at your base. Headquarters level 20, no eye statues, but you do have your shield generator over here. Level 3 one on the desk, that is extremely powerful against the warrior attack strategy. So I already got to give you some props for that. Um, let's go over the essentials. Radar maxed out, armory is maxed out for headquarters level 20. Sculptor is maxed out, the vault is maxed out, you're not losing on anything there. You got two uh, prototype defense that you can place because you got yourself that doom cannon and the shield generator over here with the weapon lab level 5. Very nice stuff. I expect all of this to be 20. And yeah, it passed. Okay, awesome. Let's take a look at your statues. Masterpieces only. Uh, 33, that's better than my own. <laughs> Very nice stuff. 38, I can... Of course, say mine is better because mine is maxed out. Uh, but enough about myself. 46, totally obliterated my own. So, very nice job there. 32, that's better than my own. Uh, I'm envious when it comes down to your statues. Very, very nice job. I'm only missing ice, but that's understandable. You might be in a highly offensive task course. It seems, it seems to me that you are... Oh, Operation Frogstrot. Maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. Anyway... Let's go over the base defense. So, you have your shield generator here, right? So, you don't really need to focus too much on the warrior attack strategy. Obviously, you know, you might still get wiped out here. Because um, your flamethrowers, honestly, are not that high level. That's just uh, the minor point of concern that I got ongoing here. The shock launchers do reach, though. So, that is a good, uh, good thing as well. But, yeah, you might be getting wiped out. And you're nowhere near headquarters level 21. So, you gotta do with what you gotta do. Um, in this particular case, let's actually see, because you are upgrading your rocket launch over here. The other ones are maxed out, that's a good thing. The boom cannons seem to be maxed out, which they are. The uh, shock launch is also maxed out. Okay, you're doing great there. I would honestly consider, because you don't have any eye statues, to upgrade your flamethrowers. Like, the baby ones over here. The ones that are, like, low. all of them. Just all of them. Baby machine gun over here. You got the baby cannons over here. Upgrade everything that's considered to be a baby. Like a lower level or something. So that way they will be more useful. Around 800 victory points. Attacks get pretty vicious. And I, you already know this yourself. But you're probably getting wiped out quite often. But the base design on itself. I gotta say it's very interesting. I really like what I see here. Like a little house. So if you take care of the residents over here. Like let's say you take care of this one. You either go the right side or the left side. You don't immediately go to the boom cannon that's the design that I like I used the sign like that too on my old headquarters level 16 the house base and that works out really well and I really like that I see this one again same thing with these wooden storages over here very nice base design very nicely thought out very nicely covered I like what I'm seeing here and then of course the rocket launches cover very very nicely on those sections as well this is uh, kind of kind of a shame here you're better off putting it in, into the base rather than having it here because here it's gonna absolutely do nothing. It's 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 just in the way. Um, it's just kind of like unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. It's just it shouldn't be there. It should be leveled up, honestly. Base design itself. Well, what can you say about this? Um, I would say this base is nice against any attack strategy. Um, I can see it working against gren grenadiers. I can see it working against heavy zuka. I see mortars over here, so I can see it working against the Smokey who got attack strategy, but um, I cannot see it working against RZM, the, the Rifleman, the Medics, and the Zookas. Truth is, you got no boost. 
So that means whenever people attack, usually around this area, people have the barrages maxed out. They drop a barrage on the rocket launch artillery, uh, or, uh, barrage artillery, barrage artillery. If the rocket launches are gone, what can stop them? Absolutely nothing. And that's, I'm honestly talking from experience here. So, um, you want to be making sure that you upgrade these, these bad boys over here. Or at least the mortars or something like that. Um, against tanks and medics, um, there's, honestly, just your defense are a really low level. That's the, the, the biggest issue that you got ongoing here. So, here's what I would advise you to do in your situation, right? So, the way I would upgrade your defenses is finish your rocket launcher. To the max make sure that those are maxed out your boom cans are maxed out after your uh, rocket launches i would go for the flamethrowers because uh, the warrior attacks um that's honestly and also over here at least try to like get this up to a higher level over here so that way it will be proving useful after that i would try to get your sniper towers up to like level 16 or something like that and then get started on the cannons because cannons you really hit quite hard against the tanks and the and and the, the heavies so i uh, will do something with that as well so the ta the the cannons after that and then you can just you by then you probably are pretty close to headquarters level 21 so then upgrade some junk that you usually wouldn't upgrade and make yourself up to headquarters level 21 and then get started with uh, that additional boom cannon and and by that time i don't even need to explain but uh, that is what i would do in your position I would honestly get some ice because you do have this uh, shield generator over here but only get it the moment you are um, the moment you got your defenses up as a matter of fact I would say don't buy any high level prototype modules uh, defenses until that moment because I feel you'll be wasting it um, the moment your defenses are, are pretty low so that is my biggest tip to you Honestly, so yeah, that is your base. I hope this base re ups you out. I, I feel this base will be working out regardless because it's kind of like the same same way set up as some of the top bases that are currently ongoing. So I definitely see the usefulness. Like this this base design over here with those residences is I I would just say it's brilliant. So yeah, that's that's my take on that. Anyway, let's move on to the final base of today. So we have arrived at the legendary team. They still got room for more legendary people, so if you want to be joining in, you might be epic for joining into this Dragon Forged. <laughs> okay, bah. enough with the Knights of Dragon Spuns. Uh, welcome to Legendary Team. You're free to join as long as you're going to be active in operations. You see, they don't have a lot of medals as requirements. So if you're looking for a low-level task force, which a lot of people recently ask me, join Legendary Team and tell them Reversal sent you. Anyway, that means we're looking for BMC. He actually apparently is a YouTuber as well. He's doing vlogs and GTA and more. So shout out to him. I just gave him some advertisement there. Anyway, um, we're looking for BMC. Where are you at? Oh, over here. Level 30 with a uh, co-leadership, 183 victory points. 89. Okay, so we're looking at a lower level base, which is really spread it out. I'll talk more about layout and everything later. First things first, headquarters level 13. Kind of hard to progress in this part of the game because obviously you, you don't have the smoke yet. Smoke helps out so much and people underestimate it. But um, the moment you get your smoke, it helps out against your rifleman. You're using all rifleman, which is a, a great attack strategy. Probably my favorite until headquarters level 17 or 18. That's honestly, rifleman is what I used. Like if you've seen any of my older videos and if I do a starting over series, I'll use them again and again and again. So, Rifleman, invaluable, a text combination, but uh, the smoke helps you out tremendously there. And also Warriors, and also Afizuka. So, uh, get your headquarters up to level 14 ASAP. ASAP. Then, Armory level 7, Radar level 11, Sculptor level 3, Vault is lagging behind uh because you know you you really want to make sure that your vault is up to your headquarters level not losing resources is uh, not losing a lot of resources can be the difference between that big upgrade or not so yeah um taking a look at your landing crafts here seven eight eight okay they're kind of behind right now so you maybe want to be you have been leveling up the headquarters quite a bit uh, so that's okay. Uh, you got some time. 
focus on that Colors 14 for now and then settle down and upgrade some stuff. That's what I would do in your position. You have a Masterpiece, a 27 troop damage. That's actually a pretty nice one. Congratulations on that. Uh, you're, of course, looking for the Gumboat Energy, Resource Ward, of course, and then maybe an Ice, depending on what your playing style is. But then your base. Your base is a mess. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you're giving away so much free gunboat energy to your opponents. And that's not to talk bad to your base or anything like that. I definitely understand where you're coming from. But it's just, if I see these five buildings over here, and if people just take out the rocket launcher just like that with gunboat energy, what good will these residences do over here, right? That's just the main concern that I got over here. Have Vizuka takes out this base relatively easily, and there's not a whole lot of cannons to back him up. Just one cannon gone, and there's only one cannon left, which doesn't even really cover the entirety of the range. So where's your boom cannon? It's kind of in the back here, just sitting here. So you're still giving away these five buildings for free. And that is an issue. So my main tip to you, BMC, is crop your base together. Like it can be more compact. It can be closer together. This type of a base is not recommended until headquarters level 18 or above. And the reason for that is you simply don't have the defenses to cover up for that. And if you're going to be placing those mines over here at the sides, you're honestly not going to be gaining anything because nothing is going to be visiting those mines ever. You want, you know, enemies to visit those mines. Um... So that is honestly the biggest tip I can give you right now. I do like this though. I do like the fact that you got a boom mine behind the radar because it's kind of a cool hiding spot. Sometimes it shows up, other times it does not. So that is a good thing on itself. But yeah, you already kind of know where I'm going at. I, I see you you done nicely having everything here for the anti-warrior attack. But there's no mines there whatsoever. And you know, everything is just... It's not, it's not like overlapping each other. You want defenses at least having two, like if you have, um, if you have a mortar, let's say here, you want at least to have like a sniper tower uh, and a cannon backing it up, in which in this case it does, but in general, like it doesn't really overlap well. That's the thing. And there's a whole swarm of units attacking your base. And what will a couple of single buildings do? Not much of anything because uh, people just gonna shock first of all and they will gather a lot of free gum uh, let me just count this one two three four five six seven what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen well if you reached halfway point you already have given away 13 that is 40 I don't even know 40 plus gunboat energy to your opponents just for taking down those buildings and that's Kind of, uh, kind of an issue, I must say. So, um, BMC, a lot of work to do. Just look on the base online that you can find. Uh, Boom Beach Base Builder. Uh, honestly, I can vouch for the website. There, it's not outdated. It's outdated for higher levels, but it's not outdated for at quality level 13. Go build a base and uh, make your base just like that type of a base. And see where people are going to be attacking your base. And adjust accordingly. Those are my tips to you, BMC. I hope this base review helps you out. That being said, we're going to be wrapping this video off here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if you guys want a base review, check out the comment section down below. There's a template set up there. Fill in the information I'm asking for. And you are automatically entered. That being said, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.